es no es cierto lo que ves primera vez primera vez no lo creo
porque te fuiste y me dejaste Si soy el macho de tu vida, mami No soy culpable de que esa boda la impidiera en tu familia and flows of angel hair and ice cream castles in the air and feather cannons everywhere looked at clouds that way but now they only block the sun They rain and they snow on everyone So many things I would have done But clouds got in my way I've looked at clouds from both sides now From up and down Still somehow It's cloud illusions I recall I really don't know clouds At all Moons and dunes And fairies wheels the dizzy dancing way that you feel As every fairy tale comes through I've looked at love that way But now it's just another show And you leave them laughing when you go and if you can, don't let them know Don't give yourself away I've looked 
looked at love from both sides now, from give and take, and still somehow it's love's illusions that I recall. I really don't know. Okay. Hi. Um, thanks for everybody who I told last minute to come on and do and onto this thing. And thank you for Culture Hub for having us and everybody here. There's like a ton of people here right now. Um, and that's sort of surprising, but also very comforting. Um, thank you for tuning in. My name is John Gutierrez, mostly. This piece is a little bit about uh, identities and starting with my name. Um, my full name is John Rafael Maria Gutierrez. And um, in Spanish, my family calls me Joang. And I sort of dropped the last name Maria because here in the States, that's not a common last name. And often in official documents, I'm mistaken for a woman. And as a kid, I think that that was sort of uh, so disorienting that when, after my dad left and along with sort of the gender norms that are associated with that name, I dropped the name. And I never really quite felt like my name was represented by John. Uh, my family calls me Joang in Espanol, but it's sort of difficult to pronounce in English, so I sort of abandoned that too. And this piece for me is a little bit about trying to reclaim that identity for myself, which I feel like I let go of because of a lot of sort of systemic issues as well as some uh, just uh, discomfort that people have or the difficulty with understanding multilingualism and um, the expression of queerness in different kinds of bodies uh, and different kinds of people. And so this is an ongoing experiment. Um, thank you. I love the little little kid's kitchen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> when I was little, um, somebody who lived with us found one of those on the street and brought it brought it into our house and was like, oh, Maddie will love that. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, it's it's um it's actually my little sisters. I have a ton of siblings, but this one is actually my six year old sister Emily's. And uh, I think, you know, it's like I grew up with an older sister and she would always get like the easy bake oven or like the Barbie Jeep thing or whatever. And I feel like I always wanted to play with those things as well. Uh, and I feel like it took me till the age that I am now to like inherit someone else's little kitchen. Um, and so yeah, so, and, and the song in there, it's, uh, it's uh, Voy Pa' Ya by a uh, really famous ba bachatero uh, Dominican artist called uh, Antonio Santos. And um, so he, that song was actually released the year that I was born. And it's a song that's about a man who's sort of going out to find the woman of his dreams who like dominates his passion. And um, for me, I think I'm sort of on a search of finding that woman inside of me or finding that kind of um, just femininity inside of myself. And so, uh, yeah, that's a little bit of that. And yeah. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you. We love you. <laughs> 